how these catwalking girls do it. Now to maintain their figure, how much sacrifice they have. See? So when we are inspired by some higher goal in life, these small little things don't bother us. Therefore, prajahati yada kaman sarvan parthamanogatan means when we are inspired by something higher in life. See? Then only the desire pressure will be reduced. Otherwise the same thing, one girl was travelling with me from Delhi to Bombay many years before, unknown. So after some time, she asked me, by the way, where are you going? I said, by the way, I don't go anywhere, I go the right way. <laughs> oh, you talk sense. I said, yes, I am not nonsense. <laughs> Then it is obligatory on my part to ask, where are you going? I am going to Delhi. What for? I got an interview. Getting good job? Yes. But exactly what you want? You want job or something else? No, I have got a dream. So what is the dream? I will get a sweet, intelligent husband, a nice house on the seashore, two sweet kids and a good job. Nice car. Aha, that is the dream. I said, first thing, these are all imaginary. For example, intelligent husband is imagination. <laughs> Those who are intelligent, they never become husband. <laughs> so, you are starting with a wrong preposition. How can you give, become happy in your life? See? This dream has been dreamed by everybody. There is nothing great in that. Getting married and throw it away. Think of something higher in life. Shall I take divorce? No. <laughs> Afterwards you will get married to someone else. So what is required is that we no more get agitated, disturbed by the world. And we are at peace with ourselves because we are inspired by something higher. And to keep our level of inspiration, regular study of scriptures is a must. Every day we have to spend time in refreshing our laptop. See, many times only your windows particularly, this doesn't happen too many times in the uh, Mac, but in Windows it happens. Every now and then, he, he fellow hangs, you know. What happened? Uh, Bill Gate. So again, he refresh. <coughs> in the same manner, we have to refresh ourselves every day. And when we are, now the next point, when we are convinced of something as great, then only we will work for it. Mahatmya Buddhi. See? When we are convinced that this is something great to be achieved, then there are no difficulties. Those who talk about difficulties on the spiritual path, they have not recognized the greatness of spiritual life. See? We all have recognized the greatness of money. Has anybody stopped earning money because it is very difficult? Yaar, I have to pay for money, it's very difficult. No. On the contrary, we find out the ways. What are the ways? Above the table, below the table, etc., etc. <laughs> See, friends. Therefore, we have to be convinced that desire fulfillment is not spiritual life. Prajahati yada kaman sarvan partha manogatan. Does it mean it is a life of dull witted existence? Um, I have no, no desires. Therefore, I am somehow living through. That is not the meaning. Atman ne vatmana tushtaha. There is a fulfillment born out of wisdom. See. And the whole thing starts from where? Desires are born the moment we are identified with the gross body. Now check your own experience. In our deep sleep experience, when we are snoring away, therefore it's called as the sound sleep. 
Sound producing sleep is called a sound sleep. So when we are having a sound sleep, that time we are not identified with our body. Therefore, there are no desires. Therefore, there is no body. Therefore, there are no thoughts. And therefore, all bliss and no blister. See, step by step. In the second chapter, Bhagavan says, A wise man lives in the waking state as an ignorant man lives in the deep sleep. See? So what is the experience of the deep sleep? Undivided, undifferentiated, blissful existence. And a wise man is able to live in the multiplicity. He is observing the differences but not getting influenced by the differences and therefore not differentiating on account of the differences. What we do, we differentiate. My daughter, my daughter-in-law, daughter-in-law, my daughter, buddhi, buddhi, buddhi. Differences. See, friends. Therefore, Prajahati yada kaman sarvan partha manogatan atman nevatmana tushtaha. He is at peace and fulfillment is attained. Because he has discovered that the self is the source of all experiences. This is called as living in meditation. So, if this is clear, then how do we achieve it? So we are not doing meditation. First of all, we have understood what is meditation. Now, to come to that experience of meditation and thereafter live throughout the life in that unsullied experience of living in meditation. That is what is required. Otherwise, half an hour, hand. Chalo, meditation ki class hai, dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> Switch off the lights first. Then. Don't sleep. And everybody goes to sleep. That is the cartoon of meditation. So, if this is clear, we have seen, the basic error is body identification. So, now we will take up the next step. How do we attain freedom from body identification consciously and slowly, slowly it will become our 24 hours experience without any struggle. So it is here we start from KG1. So what is done in the KG1? KG1 we are told 2 plus 2, so the child goes 1, 2, 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. 2 plus 2, 4. Ah, the child is very happy. I can do mathematics. Okay. Tell 7 plus 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <laughs> Mommy. There have no 7 fingers. He has learnt only within the limits of his fingers. But when the number is more, he gets frustrated. See? In the same manner. <clears throat> what next? We get frustrated. Therefore, goal has to be clear. Whatever we are doing, goal is to attain freedom from body identification. We start from the body. It is here we are caught up. So, when we look at, like you can look at this tripod of this camera. The tripod has its center of gravity exactly in the center. And therefore, it remains in that particular uh, position for a longer period of time without any efforts. Suppose electricity fails, nothing happens to the stand. Because it is independently staying of its own, because it is a perfect structurally placed thing. Exactly the same way, our body has to be brought in that equilateral cone. So if you look at me, the distance between the knees, the knee and the backbone, the knee and the neck is approximately the same. Don't take a tape and find out like this. Little bit. Same. 
and then the center of gravity of our body must be between the two pin bones which are touching the floor when you see the two pin bones are touching the floor and the weight of our body should land over there many people have this problem that their legs go to sleep it is only because the weight is shifted to one side or the other so when the weight is shifted the uh, lymph gets accumulated in the whole system and then there is, it is not a pressure on the nerves it is only the blood flow which is not properly being done and as a result there is a kind of a numb feeling we are unable to function properly therefore it is necessary that the weight of our body lands over there and after that is done then we have to achieve three things with reference to the asan body posture so that we are able to get out of the body identification and the three things are at the base the asan is form vertically the asan is the body is steady and totally the body is completely relaxed these are the three things when the three things happen then we are out of the body identification now how do we do that now whether you want to sit in the chair or on the floor or hang yourself you select <coughs> quickly if somebody wants to come up or here except on my head sit anywhere ऊपर आ जाओ हाँ डोंट टच माई कैमरा सीट वेरी वेरी सिटिंग सीट देर इट्स इट डजेंट मैटर बेस्ट इफ यू सीट नियर यूर चेयर यू विल हैव अ गुड सपोर्ट फ्रॉम यूर सीट क्विकली when we begin there are few psychological adjustments the first psychological adjustment is that we are cheerful happy and we are here of our own choice nobody has compelled us those who are tied down and brought here with a lead they will suffer but those who have come on their own they will not suffer so the moment you are suffering you understand the lead is tied to you you have to be cheerful and happy first second thing we are not alone in our heart is our beloved lord and the guru the teacher the lord protects us from within and the guru guides us from within so we are not lonely many a times people feel fear and because of the fear when they sit for meditation they start breaking the joints what is this you know hold to something you know some kind of support that is all so there is no requirement of fear because the lord is taking care of us third adjustment at this moment we are mr nobody nobody means what nobody means the one who doesn't have any relational existence if we become husband wife brother sister mother father then the corresponding thoughts will start you know bubbling out so we take the position of nobody nobody is the one who does not have the past so we delete the total past temporarily when we take the position of mr nobody then we don't plan what we will do after meditation 
If we plan what we'll do after meditation, whole meditation will be only running around that particular work. And thus we block the future, we have blocked the past, now we come in the present. In the present, we have to be fully involved, 100%. Nothing to be done half-heartedly. Half-heartedness is the biggest challenge for everyone. Because we have trained ourselves, anything we do, we do half-heartedly. No. We have to be fully involved. And what is that full involvement? This is the moment we are going to merge in the Absolute. It cannot be then and there. It can be now and here alone. With this commitment, we have arrived on the seat of meditation. Now the base is firm, the weight is landed on the pin bones, back, neck and head in straight line. Our hands are in our lap, don't keep them on the knee. After some time the body is pulled ahead because of the weight. So let it be in your lap. So the body is firm and steady. Now the third, we have to relax. Now when I give instructions, your body will understand and follow unless you come in between. Don't worry how it will happen. Relax the head muscles. Relax the forehead, the eyebrows, eyelids, no pressure on the eyes. Relax the nose, lips, chin, the face. Relax the ears, the neck from all the four sides, throat, sides and the neck side. We are holding our shoulders upward, hang them down. Relax the shoulder joints, the upper arms, elbows, the lower arms, wrists, palms, and fingers. Now take a pause. Our body is now divided in two parts. One that is relaxed and the other not yet relaxed. In the relaxed area there is no tension anywhere. There is zero muscle tone. The weight of <coughs> our hands is lying in our lap. We feel the heaviness. The remaining parts of the body are still having muscle tone and tension. Now come back to the shoulders. Now we relax the trunk and the limbs. Relax the chest muscles, the sides, the upper back. Relax the abdomen and below right up to the floor the sides up to the hip joints, the back all along, the spine and the sides go downward slowly right up to the pin bones. You will feel an increase in the weight 
on your pin bones you may also feel sometimes the pulsation of his blood vessels is because the weight of the body has been increased relax the hip joints the hips thighs knees calf muscles relax ankles heels and toes as if you walk out of your body like there are so many bodies sitting in this hall there is one body which we claim to be ours and us now take the front view of your body from outside you are outside your body take the view from the top to the base the head the forehead the eyebrows go down part by part on the way if you come across any tension patches relax them now go to the right side of your body don't forget you are outside the body take the right view of the body right side of the head a right ear a right side of the neck right shoulder go downwards up to the hip joint part by part and relax if you come across some patches of tension now go to the back side don't forget you are outside the body start from the top the head back side of the head shoulders go downwards along the spine and the sides of the spine go slowly downwards right up to the pin bones now come to the left side of the body repeat the same here you will come across many points of tensions because other three sides are fully relaxed So to maintain the body the left side becomes tense go downwards and relax those points now come in the front now the body is fully relaxed form and steady now here i'll tell you some secret actually body is not relaxed it is the mind which was holding the shape and the form of the body that mind is relaxed by giving up the shape and the form of the body hence the shape and the form of the body the contour line has become hazy and non distinct
earlier there was a concept inside outside now this concept is gone after having come here recognize this experience of being independent of body presence and absence of body has nothing to do with our existence now we will play one simple game what it is like being space the space supports all the objects but does not get influenced by any object in the same manner the space that i am in which there are so many bodies but the space that i am remains untouched by all the bodies the body has a birth growth decay and death the space doesn't have the beginning middle and end it is infinite the body has a shape a form space supports all the shapes and forms but is without shape and form the body has a gender space other than the body doesn't have one with reference to body only there are relations being other than body like space no relation and hence nobody there should not be any pressure in your body on any point heart throat between the eyebrows or the head if pressure is developing you are caught up inside the body the body is in me i am not in the body all the things and beings are in the space 
space is not in them. If our existence is not denied in the dream and the deep sleep, when we are not identified with the body, means our existence is independent of body and we are someone other than the body. This experience is like a waking sleep. In the sleep, we are not identified with the body, but we do not know that. <coughs> now, we are not identified with the body, but we know that. the body. This absolute freedom to function through the body and yet not limited by the body he is living in meditation. Thereafter, whatever we live, do, it is living in meditation. Doing in meditation. not doing meditation. The concept of inside and outside the body has disappeared. Now there is a homogeneous experience of just undivided presence.
there is no struggle anywhere the breathing is extremely slow and shallow because the metabolic rate falls oxygen demand is minimum hence the breathing becomes extremely slow and shallow this quality of breathing is a master key for achieving freedom from body identification if the breathing becomes deep we are in a process of entering sleep if the breathing becomes fast body identification is due to happen hence be alert that the breathing remains slow and shallow initially we may get tired after some time so find out your own stamina level and don't overdo sitting for a shorter periods half an hour two three times a day is more beneficial than sitting on the one go for two hours and then nothing for the whole day
slowly take deep breathing four five times slowly increase the depth as you do this you will see the shape and the form of the body is included in the mind a sense of separateness is born the body identification is complete and again the same samsar begins in this practice the main thing was to remain as someone other than the body the so immediately someone other than the body is the gross space and therefore we played what it is like being a space mind cannot survive in a formless state mind requires some or the other form hence when the mind is merged in the space consciousness alone is revealed offer everything to the lord in your heart don't make a memory of this experience if you make a memory it will be a concept your being other than the body is not a concept it is a reality om purnamadah purnamidam purnaat purnamudachate purnasya purnamadaay पूर्णमेवशिष्यते ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुरुभ्यो नम श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरोर्ब्रह्मा गुरोर्विष्णु गुरोर्देव महेश्वर गुरो साक्षात्म ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम when we have understood living in meditation is the foundation and thereafter whatever happens in life those are the actions to be done under the climate of meditation therefore meditation is not done now what is the meaning of this living in meditation so the first step was prajahati yada kaman sarvan partha manogatan आत्मने वात्मना तुष्ट स्थित प्रज्ञस्तुच्यते वेन वी आर नो मोर वर्किंग अंडर द बर्डन ऑफ डिजायर्स एंड वी आर नो मोर डिप्रेस एंड डिजेक्टेड एंड फ्रस्ट्रेटेड बट वी आर कंटेंट विद अवर ओन बीइंग देन वी आर लिविंग इन मेडिटेशन देन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी मे बी लिविंग इन मेडिटेशन बट द वर्ल्ड इज नॉट लिविंग सी it is something like you know i am strictly vegetarian therefore how the tiger can eat me See, you may be strictly vegetarian but the tiger is not he will start brahma arpanam brahma havi the moment he sees you <laughs> see therefore the world comes to us and how the world comes to us the world comes to us in the form of two options one is joy and second is sorrows see so
So when the world comes to us in the form of joys and sorrows, then how this man in meditation is living? How is he acting? <coughs> There the teacher tells us that dukkheshu anudvigna manaha, sukheshu vigata spruhaha, vitaraga bhaya krodaha, sthitadihi muni uchchate. Yes, everybody gets problems in life. Who doesn't get problems? See, you all know even the electric post also has got problem. Early morning, one amma in a nighty walks out of the house with the dog lead, and the dog is searching for his electric post. He will not go and do anywhere. So every morning, that electric post thinks, "Oh God, again this fellow is coming." and he will not go anywhere he is going searching for his own place and the moment he sees his place then immediately purna vidha purna vidham over in short who doesn't have problems in life see therefore dukkheshu anudvigna manaha means what when the miseries come in our life we refuse to be miserable this is called as living in meditation never imagine that miseries will not come to us it is not possible see anitya masukham lokam prapyam imam bhajaswamam bhagwan says that this world is made up of only miseries and happiness as a admixture khatta mita see haldi rams khatta mita two things are there in this world you know you must have gone to many countries and when you go you have to go through immigration and there you have to fill in some dumb form the most dumbest forms are for usa the big list and the questions are are you a member of active terrorist organization yes no who will write yes <laughs> what they write this question okay. do you have criminal credentials yes no like there are so many things Similarly when we were pushed in this world by the lord we were given an immigration form you are entering the world full of miseries you know you are entering united states similarly you are entering the world of miseries question do you want to be miserable yes no options and we have opted yes and we continue miserable <laughs> see friend it is our choice when we refuse to be miserable even god will fail to make us miserable don't cooperate with the miseries see dukkheshu anudvigna manaha and for that what is a simple technique extend your hand of help for those who are in miseries then alone you can rise above your own miseries See, we are constantly concerned about oh pain here, pain there. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Second technique: never talk about your miseries to anybody. Never talk. Digest them. Take hajmola. The more you talk about your miseries, they start becoming real. they are not real reality is parmatma bliss that is real miseries are not real they come and go see friends dukkheshu anudvigna manaha living in this awareness that although there are miseries i refuse to be miserable is called as practicing meditation 24/7 not suffering silently in the darkness no then the second part was dukkheshu anudvigramanaha sukheshu vigata spruhaha sukheshu when the comforts come in our life we want that our comfort should be again and again repeated and we get extremely attached to the comforts in life see and therefore when we have to go to some places some holy places the such etc when we have to go there there then we have the same kind of expectations as we have at our home 
So the first question many people ask us when we have got some camps, Swamiji, uh, is there attached? Uh, attached? Yes, you are already attached to the bathroom. It is there. <laughs> See. So we get so much accustomed to a certain particular type of things, and as a result, if that is not fulfilled, we become extremely uncomfortable. See, there are two things. So these two things, if we take care carefully. There is nothing in this world which is more important than this. Dukkheshu anuddhivigana manaha sukheshu vigana spruha. And for that, the teacher gives vita raga bhaya krodaha, three things. Vita means gone for good. Raga bhaya krodaha. Raga is the likes, krodaha is the anger and bhaya is the fear. He who is living his life without fear, without anger and without any kind of attachment to things and beings, he is living in meditation. Now watch your own mind. When you are sitting for meditation, instead of complaining, too many thoughts coming, inquire, find out. So you will come to know that whatever we are attached to, that becomes the cause of the thoughts. See? Before examination, when the children are studying, and then they go and pray to the Lord, Oh Lord, let all my papers be very well done, then I should get the first position. I know I have not studied, but you can always do everything, you know? <laughs> See? So that time that child will never have any other prayer because that examination is so much on his head that he just can't think of anything else. Therefore, yesterday I gave you this principle, whatever we